recording. How's it going, Chaotic Cryptids? It's the Chupacabra once again with another episode of No Cops, No Shoes, No Auto-Tune. And today I'm talking with a zine writer that I just recently got into contact with. This is Katie. How are you doing? Hello. Hi. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us. Could you tell us a little bit about your zine, you know, what, what it's called, what you write about? Okay, uh, this is Miss America, it is my very first scene. Uh, I recently just started it. Uh, the first issue uh, just got completed about mid-March. Uh, this was a long time coming. I'd been wanting to start a zine since I was about 11, probably. I've always uh, had a real big interest in the Riot Girl scene, and zines were their main form of communication. So uh, this kind of seemed like a natural thing for me to do. That is super cool. I love, I love the... I love zines. I love that aspect of the Riot Girl movement and just the punk movement overall and all that it, all that they do. Actually, I read um, Girls to the Front just recently. And I love reading about all the zine makers and their involvement. So, like, what are some things that you, like, either you've already talked about or you want to talk about and address in your zine? Um, well, it mainly focuses on feminist issues and kind of piggybacking off of stuff about the Riot Girl zine. Um, but I'd really love to make about make it about um, Kind of recontextualizing Riot Girl because there were a lot of issues in the original scene um, and there's actually a community I'm involved with, um, Garage Girl Riot. Um, they mainly work through Instagram but they're all about um, writing the wrongs I'd say of first generation Riot Girl and making it more inclusive and intersectional. That's really cool. It's awesome. So like uh, what, so you said they're active through Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Uh, would, would you say that, like, who would you say are, like, your biggest inspirations, I guess, for what you do, be it in activism and music uh, and zine making uh, in the scene that you're part of or in the scenes that you take inspiration from? Uh, well, obviously, Kathleen Hanna is a huge one for me. Uh, Kat Bielan from Babes in Toyland, obviously incredible musicians. Um, and Era from Garage Girl Raya, as I previously mentioned. Um, they're all about making uh, Riot Girl and music in general just accessible to anyone everywhere so i awesome. really admire what they're doing it's awesome it's great to hear yeah i love um i love the rock roll movement i love the bands but there was i do come across a lot of people talking about you know the problems with the original scene so it's great to see like because even today there are people who are saying the same old shit they said about rock roll back in the day you know that they're man haters and all that shit but there's also the fact that back in the day it was was it like trans exclusiveness was that one of the yeah problems? and um well sister girl riots were kind of an offshoot of riot girl because they weren't uh as inclusive people of color so the women of color kind of created their own movement which is really interesting to learn about honestly it was awesome and I'm, I'm really like glad to see you know people in the movement today uh new members with new ideas and you know new like you said right in the wrongs it's, it's great to see <laughs> it's not something that of course, I can talk about it at length, so I'm, I'm glad to be able to talk to you about this. Is there, um, what was it, what was it that really got you into Riot Girl? Like, when did you first hear about it and start exploring it? Um, well, it kind of came along with just getting into punk music and different genres of music in general. It was um, just kind of a pipeline for me, um, but watching the punk singer, definitely. Um, I was, I think, in middle school when I first saw it, but it just never gets old for me. I think it does a great job um, of telling the story of how Riot Girl was able to spread, honestly. So that's a good movie. I haven't had a chance to see it. I really want oh, to. Oh yeah, great one. Uh, there are a lot of little documentaries on YouTube, but that's like the big one. Uh, another one is called Girls to the Front. It's about half an hour. Awesome, awesome. I'll check those out. Might do reviews about them. So is there, what zine are you, are you, are you involved in? Scene. scene. What scene are you involved in, like, maybe around where you live or, like, uh, just the scene that you'd say? Because I've spoken to people who say that they're specifically part of, like, the Chicago punk scene or, like, the West Coast, you know, SoCal punk scenes. Is there one that you're specifically part of? Uh, not really, honestly. I live in Indiana, so there's not a huge scene around here. Um, but this is, like, the third time I've mentioned them. But uh, Garage Girl Riot, uh, they're involved in, like, making specific chapters for different places around the world. So um, if you go to their page, you can just say where you live and they'll hook you up with a group chat with uh, different riders in your area. That sounds really awesome. Cool. I'm definitely gonna, if you could send me like a link to their Instagram, I'd love to tag it uh, in the description yeah. of this. 
Uh, so your zine, is that something that you're looking to like distribute, you know, on a wide yeah. basis? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have been. Honestly, it's, oh, my light shut off. Um, but it's been a lot more successful than I thought it would be, which was a really pleasant surprise. Um, I've had people from like Italy, to, like Denmark, places all over the world that I never thought would be interested in reading what I write, but it's been really cool, honestly. I never expected that would happen, <laughs> especially that's, this time. That's awesome. I'm very glad to hear that. Yeah, I, I definitely, I'd love to, I don't know how you distribute it, but I'd love to tag like some kind of address or something in the videos. So maybe my, maybe some of my subscribers are interested in checking it out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. It just when you really like, especially because now we have the internet, which is, I guess, a little easier to manage than mailing lists and all that stuff that they had to use back in the day. But like something I've noticed sort of like that using this channel is there are way more people who want to hear about what you have to say than you'd think. So it's just about putting yourself out there. So it's, it's, Great talking to you about your zine because I think like doing something like this, doing like a YouTube channel, a zine, a band who where you post your music online or your views or whatever, it's sort of it's a it's a leap. But when you take it, you sort of get inspired by the people who receive it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, yeah, I really didn't think that many people would be interested, but then once I did, and once I got out there, I was a lot less like self-conscious about what I wrote because um with zines particularly a lot of people um who are interested in getting them have one too and they will like trade so I've gotten so many other people's zines through this and I've been able to contribute to a few um to people who were asking for submissions so it's a really nice community yeah it's it's awesome I'm, I'm really glad to hear that too um is there like because I'm a lot of what I do here is like DIY, you know, clothes, uh, stuff like zines, stuff like that. How would you describe your style? Um, I'm definitely inspired by, as I mentioned earlier, Kat Bieland um, in a lot of like the kinder horror uh, fashion from that era. Um, but like you said, it's very DIY. Um, I get asked a lot like where I buy things and I never really have an answer because it's like thrifting things and gluing lace on them and just doing everything myself so <laughs> that's fun i love it I've, I've been doing that for a while how long have you how long have you been involved in the punk scene or the riot girl scene or just overall you know punk music uh about since i was 11 i think yeah you beat me i started when i was 13. <laughs> who got you into it because i'm I, I got into it from my stepdad and the hilarious part is that he's very much, he's a middle-class white dude and he's very conservative. So like he won the record of missing the point, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, well, I was already into, um, I kind of grew up on like 80s, like glam rock music. So then through that, it was kind of just a uphill battle of like Finding Green Day, then through that Operation Ivy, then like ska and punk and Riot Girl and YouTube took me down a lot. <laughs> yeah, YouTube. YouTube is, you, you dig yourself into a hole with YouTube. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Uh, so I have notes here where we sort of cover everything I wanted, I wrote down. Is there like, is there anything that you think you'd like to say to maybe someone who's interested in starting a zine? Sort of what's the like, the process of, you know, getting your feet wet, sort of getting what you want to take down, you know, sort of printed and sort of getting your ideas in focus? Uh the biggest piece of advice I have would be to just sit down and do it. Um, there was honestly not a lot of planning went into this. I, it was very impulsive. I just sat down one day with a piece of printer paper, folded it up, wrote on it, cut up magazines, collaged it. Um, so if you already have that spark, like it's something you want to do, it's something you can do. So don't be too much of a perfectionist. Yeah, definitely. I, I love the, I love the, like the aesthetics of all these different zines and flyers from the 90s that I saw like looking through looking through the internet and I love doing that kind of stuff it's really fun it looks really cool that's how I'm planning on doing like my band's flyers cool. that kind of stuff do you play any music are you a musician uh not very well but I play bass <laughs> uh, you don't need to play very well to play <laughs> punk, you know? wasn't like isn't rebel girl just like two notes yeah pretty much <laughs> that's, that's cool <laughs> I just I love that I love that riff Really, that's, that's all you need. Um, yeah. What I love about punk music is how simplistic it is. You really don't need, there are some bands that do, but you don't need musical complexity to really, you know, get your message across. 
Well, um, Katie, thank you so much for talking to me. I hope that you enjoyed this. I definitely did. I'm going to tag whatever you want to send me. I'll tag down in the description. Uh, you got any parting words for the watchers? Uh, not really. Just <laughs> make a zine, make music, get out there, do something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just help you heard. That's what that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Wait. Uh, good luck with your zine. Uh, I, I can't wait to keep me posted on how it's going. If you'd like, I can't wait to you know to hear more about it. And um, yeah, maybe I'll get my hands on a on a copy and I'll do a little review of it on my channel here. Okay. We'll talk about it. All right. Thank hey, thanks a lot. Take it easy. Take your food.